Are you unsure if programming is too hard, doubting whether you should start learning it or wondering if it's just not right for you? The best way to answer this question is to break down the key qualities it takes to become a good programmer and how you can develop them. In this video, we'll cover each quality one by one and if you stay tuned until the end, you should have a clear understanding of whether programming is the right fit for you. Welcome to Code the Future, I'm Island, and let's dive into the first essential quality I believe every programmer needs. Problem solving. The ability to break problems into smaller parts and think like a programmer is a key aspect of your daily work. Whether you're fixing a bug, adding a new functionality to an application, or building something from scratch, it all starts here. While intelligence plays a role in everything you do, I believe this skill is primarily developed through experience and practice. From the moment you start coding, you'll learn about algorithms, which are step-by-step -step instructions designed to solve specific problems or perform tasks. Whether you're learning to code in school or teaching yourself, solving problems with algorithms is one of the first things you tackle because it develops your logical thinking. Often you learn algorithms before you even begin coding because they are commonly written in pseudocode, which is this human readable way of describing an algorithm's logic using plain language. Over time, as you encounter more programming problems and practice solving them, you'll naturally develop a solution-oriented way of thinking. The second quality a programmer needs is the actual ability to code. After solving the problem or breaking it down into smaller parts, you need to implement those solutions in actual code using a programming language. Once you learn a specific programming language, you'll need to learn a framework depending on what you want to build whether it's a web application, desktop application, mobile app, or something else. I don't want to sound repetitive, but this is also a skill you develop with time and practice. Coding is generally easier to pick up than problem solving, and once you've mastered one programming language, it's much easier to learn another one if needed. Today, there are many tools available to help you code, such as different websites and ChatGPT, which can even provide full project templates. However, these tools are meant to assist and speed up the process. They cannot replace the need to truly understand and learn coding. You need to understand the code yourself, know how your project is structured, how different parts of your application interact with each other, and what each part does in order to become a true programmer. Before we move on to the last point, I want to let you know about a roadmap I've created that outlines the exact steps you need to take to become a C-sharp.net developer, which is the focus of this channel. You can grab it for free with just one click using the link in the description below. The final quality that makes a good programmer, which also affects the previous two qualities, is continuous learning. Being able to stay updated with the latest changes in technologies and frameworks is crucial as they change constantly. Even in day-to-day -day work as a programmer, you may encounter things you don't know every day and need to research and learn continuously. Over time, you will see the huge progress you've made. However, being a programmer is not something you learn once and then know it all. You have to keep learning. There are always new things you can improve and learn, and you must stay updated at all times. As a side effect, your problem solving and coding skills will also improve. I hope this video has given you a clearer understanding of what it takes to become a programmer and whether it's something you'd like to pursue. If you want a more concise guide on how to actually become a programmer, I have a video explaining the exact roadmap you need to follow, which should be on the screen right now. So click on the screen and I'll see you there.